for watching and listening to Sipping Off the Cuff on Tequila Aficionado Media, all of our channels and networks. I'm Mike Morales here in Southern California. That young man out there is... Matt Metris in Rochester, New York. Matt and I have been through the ringer today. <laughs> we, have, we have tasted a lot of one-offs uh, today together. And um, tonight, I, I'm really jazzed about this one, okay? Because I have been chasing these folks for a long time, okay? This is Sandinista tequila. Um, to, I was telling Matt offline, um, I, I don't, we, don't, we don't have a whole lot of information on this tequila. Um, I do know the distillery. I'll give you that number and name a little bit later on. Um, and the reason I went chasing this tequila is because my folks are from Central America. Uh, in particular, they're from Nicaragua. Um, they've been in the U.S. for years now. Um, but a Sandinista is, uh, I don't know, that's kind of like calling yourself a, that's kind of like calling yourself a Che Guevara or, you know, a, uh, 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 Fidel Castro. Uh, I don't know why they named it Sandinista, and I don't know if one of the owners uh, is Nicaraguan. Uh, maybe, uh, but anyway, I kept chasing them and chasing them, and finally, finally, uh, lucky enough to score some samples. And Matt, what makes this tequila this color? Uh, yeah, it's got a pretty unique color, doesn't it? It's like a uh, high C uh, type color. Uh, it's uh, it's a reposado with natural flavors added. And there's a little note that says, made with sriracha, lime, and a spice blend. So we're gonna find out what that means uh, in just a second. <laughs> this is, to be fair, this is Matt's first time uh, having a, a, a flavored tequila made with, now sr sriracha is a pepper, isn't it? Isn't it made from a pepper? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I associate it with the sauce, the rooster sauce, but. Right, yeah. Uh, the funny th story is that, that the, the factory where they make it, that sriracha sauce, where they invented it and made it, is about 20 minutes from, from me. Um, I know when they when they were first coming online, people, it's in the town, if I'm not mistaken, it's in the town of Irwindale, uh, very close to here, or somewhere in the outskirts of Irwindale. And um, people were complaining about the smells that were coming out of that factory and, you know, but it's famous for making sriracha. Um, Dave and I have had, uh, uh, Dave Dinius and I have had all kinds of tequilas made with peppers. Uh, Alex and I have had one with, with made with ha a Hawaiian pepper. Um, but this is, this is my, I don't even, I don't even use sriracha. So I have no idea mm. what this is. Do you, have you ever, you, do you use it? I've used it, but not regularly. I'm more of a red hot kind of guy. Oh, you're a McElhaney dude, huh? <laughs> 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 All right, well, we're going to pour this in a glass. We're going to drink it. Uh, we just broke the seal off of it, and we're going to see if it makes me yell Sandinista. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know, folks. I'm a little, I'm a little, to be honest, I'm a little scared. It's even more red as you pour it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's got this, um, uh, like it's got this Gatorade. Uh... Oh, wait. Oh. A real um, cork, yeah, real cork. Um, and to be honest, I, I kind of like. I don't know. I don't know what they were going for, but I don't know what they think that that a Sandinista looks like. Uh, but you know, I'm willing to hear their story. I really am interested to find out why they went in this direction. You using a Glen Karen on this? Yeah. <laughs> why not? <laughs> I got these new wow. Glen Karens. Look at, but, uh, look at with all the with all the facets and the the, the diamonds and all that. That's hey man, that's, yeah, way, this, that's way too fancy. I got, a, I got a bottle of uh, Sassanac whiskey and uh, the one from Outlander, and this came with it. These Glen Karens. Oh, well, you know, I always like those Glen Karen uh, uh, gift packs because Glen Karen, other than the Jarrito, which is what I'm using, I'm using the Stossel that we normally use for uh, for mezcal. Um, okay, uh, I get some decent legs and tears. Yeah, yeah. And one lingering bubble. Oh, okay. I don't have any bubbles, but. Yeah, you know, the, the color is a little, it's a little strange. 
and it's a and it's a bit murky too. It's not it's not transparent, okay. Yeah. But it's not supposed to be. I mean, you saw a shake in the bottle, too. I mean, I, I would imagine if you're using natural ingredients to make it look the way it looks, you're going to get some residue at the bottom of the bottle. You may as well just shake it up a little bit, even though the directions don't say that. It's got decent legs and tears. I, I, I like the way it looks. I mean, you know, visually. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> okay. Are you getting singed? <laughs> Did your eyebrows? <laughs> Did your that, nose hairs catch fire? <laughs> that is intense. It's, it's oh boy. I mean, it is like it's a bottle of hot sauce in a glass. Yeah. Mm. I can, uh, I can get a little bit of lime. It, yeah. The, the, the chili is overpowering, though. You can't really get a lot of lime out of that. I don't even know. I don't even know what pepper sriracha is made from. I did. Yeah. We didn't get any information, and of course, I, I didn't do any background uh, uh, info on it because I had to do some background checking on the on the Hawaiian pepper, and it has a really unique history. So I'm wondering if the sriracha, the pepper that they're using to make the sauce, has a unique history that not is not well known. Yeah, and it's not if if it is, it's not advertised on their website here. And we also have a secret blend, secret blend of spices uh, included. This would be really good with some tahini on the on the rim, I think. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. The the lime makes it a little bit sweeter, and you get past the lime, and then it gets it gets it. Uh, I'm, what I'm assuming is the sriracha, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm not getting any alcohol, which is okay. Not at all. Yeah, and it is 80 proof, so standard import. What do you say? Should we? Uh, I I think we yeah because we're only you know I, I don't not get anything deeper off of that. Yeah, yeah, pray for me, folks. Just pray for me, okay? For those of you who are sriracha lovers, here we go. Wow, that's unique. It's something else. It's something else. <laughs> oh, I don't know where to thick. go with this, man. It's, it's sludgy. Um, it has a lot of viscosity to it in the uh, yeah. um, mouthfeel. It, it's it's definitely as advertised. Um, it it does not have a lot of sweetness in the palate. I don't know. Uh, I'm getting a lot of spice. I get a little bit of the tartness from the lime juice. Zero of anything you would associate with tequila. Um, Except for alcohol, maybe, you know. The, the, yeah, the, I really didn't even get much alcohol either. Uh, I'm getting a finish. Um, okay, I'm going to have to taste it again. I, I mean, I, I don't know where to go with this. This is... This is literally, you know, I, I know we've had, I've had tequila, uh, reposado tequila with serrano peppers. I've had them with chipotle. I've had them with jalapeno. And, they, and some, a lot of these are well done, you know. I, I don't know where to go with this. I don't know if you would use this, a, you know. Um, would you use this as like a, like a. Uh, like a marinade for like fajitas or something, or a barbecue sauce. Like I could any try that. Yeah, uh, that could that could be interesting. You know, and definitely is cocktail worthy too. I mean, I I, I guess um, I I found them again on on Instagram, so I would imagine that they're full of cocktails. Um, where I think it would be an added ingredient, and maybe not so much the base, but I'm not sure. Yeah, they have a couple recipes on the website. Uh, one with uh, tomato juice, uh, another one with orange juice and grenadine, uh, one with muddled strawberries and lime juice, and some sugar cane syrup, which I just assume is going to be simple syrup. I don't know what they mean by that, but um, definitely going to need some added sweetness to kind of take the edge off if using it in a cocktail. I think. Yeah, it needs to be. Uh, this is very savory, and I can see where they're do where they're going with it. You could probably match this with a sangrita mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. sangritas are made with tomato as a base some are not i have a sangrita in the, in the fridge i would probably i would probably use a sangrita for this one 
Um, yeah. Or or in a Bloody Maria, maybe. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that that could work. Seth, now, did... I've never had sriracha, so I'm there's a slight underlying bitterness that some people might mistake as metallic, but it's not. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's a it's like a it's a it's a bitterness that I think is coming from the sriracha. Uh, it's not hot or peppery at all. I mean, there is some kind of palate explosion uh, from, from whatever tequila that, that they're using. Let me give you, the, let's just give the ins and outs, okay? This is, yeah. coming, from, this is coming from actually a, a really good distillery. Matt and I had Mas Suave that came out of this distillery. Uh, it's Tequila Says Senor. And um, let me get a number on that again, just to be... Just to give you a few guys, 1124, Tequila Se Senor uh, is famous uh, because they used to make, some, well, they still make some great tequilas coming out of uh, Herencia de Plata, one of my favorites when, uh, when it was first being imported into the U.S. Uh, Dos Lunas, which is no longer with us. Uh, you and I had Masuade, which we flipped over. Mm -hmm. uh, the quality is there. So they're using quality juice. Mm -hmm. And... I just, I, what possessed them to go with Sriracha? That's what I want to know. I mean, is one of these two guys a Sriracha lover, or one of the owners a Sriracha lover? I, I don't know. I, I don't even. Well, definitely, <laughs> definitely a why question to be asked there. Yeah, like. Uh, they, they do seem to have a lot of affiliation with some snowboarders. Um, so there's some snowboarding references here on there. Well, oh, here's some. So legend has it that in the late 90s, a bartender in St. Louis concocted what everyone in the area considered to be the bartender shot. Uh, and that is the origin story. This a combination of Reposado tequila, sriracha hot sauce, lime, and an imaginative spice blend created what would be known among St. Louis bartenders as the Sandinista shot. It makes you feel like a Nicaraguan revolutionary. That's what it says. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Wow, one step below being a communist. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then. Um, it's really unique, folks. I mean, if you're looking for something completely off the rails, <laughs> I mean, so that's called a uh, that's the bartender shot. It's called a sandinista. Allegedly, yeah. First time I've heard this story, so I'll say allegedly. Wow, I'd like to I'd like to talk to this. I'm I'm actually a, a, we're actually connected to a couple of bartenders in St. Louis. I'd I'd love to find out if that if that legend even exists. Um, I what do you think, Matt? Is it is it? It's got its own category at this point. It certainly does. It certainly does. So uh, I guess by default. <laughs> Yeah, by default, right. Now, now, what's our price point? Did we find a price uh, point for this? Yeah, 40, 45. Uh, okay. <laughs> really? Uh, uh, I wonder who this would appeal to besides snowboarders. Does, is this a thing for snowboarders? I it mean, it sort of seems like it. there's a lot of pictures of people snowboarding on the website. Yeah, but I mean, is it is it a uh you know for for is it like for x games guys and, and girls i mean you know bmxers and things like that yeah maybe you know if you're out you're on the mountain for a while this will warm you up oh for uh, sure <laughs> get motivated get to the bottom of the hill more quickly Woo. i i don't know i don't know where to go with that i i don't know I, like i said by default it's got its own category so i i'm i mean I will find out. I will find out what sriracha is made from. In fact, folks, if you're watching us on, on YouTube and you know what the base ingredient of sriracha really is, please let us know in the comments below because I have no clue. And their factory, I should probably go visit their factory if they'll even let me. Um, their factory is in town. I mean, it's in, it's in the area. I don't have to go very far to, to find it. You can smell it, apparently. Uh, <laughs> But even, even Wikipedia just says uh, chili peppers. It doesn't say what kind. Really? Wow. So it's a it's a complete mystery. Uh, well, then it, have to, it would have to be a chili infused, you know, a pepper infused category. And we've had them before. Yeah. Um, 
without having any base, without having any, any base for what Sriracha actually tastes like, I would have to say as a Brand of Promise nominee, um, if you can get past the, the, the nose and the color, I think you can do some really crazy creative things. Yeah, uh, I like the mar. I might try the marinade idea. I think that's. A good I'm idea. thinking this is savory enough for a marinade. Yeah. It's a savory. It, it really is a savory. That's why I'm going to try it. Well, I'm going to pair it tonight with a with a sangrita. I'm going to go back and forth and see what that, what kind of combo that is because I think it's a really, I think it lends itself to pairing really well, and and it starts with great juice. It's coming from a really reputable distillery that's made some very uh long time favorite tequilas um so that alone should should give it some 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 street cred uh, mm -hmm. you know i mean they could just as easily have gone with a diffuser made tequila they didn't that's true that's absolutely true and uh yeah so i i'm gonna reach out to them i'd love to find out their story i really would because I, you know, my usually when I interview folks for our open bar show, I, my first question is, um, "What? Why did you? Why did you go to tequila?" My first question to these folks would be, "Why did you pick sriracha? Why couldn't you yeah. go like something else?" Um, Absolutely. But you know what? Maybe, maybe Matt, you and me can, uh, uh, you and I can uh, uh, co-host an open bar together, and we can we can grill these 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 owners. <laughs> WTH, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, exactly. uh, so anyway, folks, that's our take on on Sandinista. I, I have finally I have finally tasted the Sandinista, and I gotta tell you, uh, my folks, being from Nicaragua and what I know about Sandinistas, you don't want to be a revolutionary. Not not that kind. Uh, I think yeah. I, you know, throughout throughout history, a lot of these revolutionaries have been uh, romanticized, and uh, believe me, there's nothing romantic about being a Sandinista. But it's a cool name, so uh, I think it, I think I think the person that that, that uh, Sandino, I think, is the the person in, uh, whose whose surname they used as a Sandinista, who was, I guess, a a revolutionary. I'm not um, that part of Nicaragua's history is not something that I. I tend to research. It's just not, you know. Um, anyway, regardless, that's our take on Sandinista Tequila. And I'm going to talk my way out of this one. Uh, you've been watching and listening to Sipping Off the Cuff on Tequila Fish Now Media on all of our channels. Oh, please subscribe to us if you're watching us on, on YouTube. Uh, if you're listening to us on Spotify, you download, you know, your, all your podcasts where you get them, uh, including iTunes and Spotify. And, um, you know, follow us on social media. You can follow Matt on social media as well. He does some really unique things, um, like he's a board member of a school board, and that's unique. Uh, that's, that's uh, it's you a know, unique time to be on a school board, I'll tell you. Yeah, that. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm rather unique, too, because I am. Uh, and whatever you do, hey, tomar sabiamente. <laughs> Sip wisely. <laughs>